So for some reason during the third uh, class, and I'm not sure if any of the other classes had this issue, uh, I'm going to do a short video on picking up some templates. And to do that, we need to look in our folder. If you open up your computer, my computer, and look under your C drive, uh, you'll see I have one here, program data. Now I'm going to uh, very quickly just do a little because I've got mine open. Yours is likely to be hidden. So I'm just going to type hidden files. I never know. And it'll say show hidden files. And we'll just go to view. Yours probably says don't show hidden files and apply. So if you look under your program under C drive and you're looking for uh, program data, you won't probably see it. Again, just go into the little help file, type in hidden files, hit enter, show hidden files. We'll click this little and we just go to view and show hidden files and apply. <clears throat> it doesn't restore your files, but now we see this little program data uh, folder that's kind of grayed out. But we can open it up. In here, you'll find the files that you're missing. And the first one we're going to look for. Uh, is actually you don't have it but what I've done is uploaded these to uh, Blackboard under week 9 uh, with our drawing file so you can go retrieve these. If you look under Autodesk so it's C program data Autodesk look down till you find Revit 2014 first of all you'll see templates US Imperial and what you want is this default. You can actually take all of the file. Well, if I had them, I put the default, which I believe is the uh, architectural uh, um, default template. You're gonna uh, and you'll just download that from Blackboard and put it in this same directory: C Program Data Autodesk Revit Templates US Imperial. Default will give you the architectural palette. We'll go back up to the Revit directory and look under libraries US Imperial and if you go all the way down to title blocks you're going to want to take and again I've uploaded this and you're going to want to uh, copy and paste this or download this file into C program data Autodesk Revit 2014 libraries US Imperial title blocks and that will give you the 11 by 17 basic title block that you can edit and create your own. You can see I have several here that I've created from the different classes. So if you copy and paste or just download and put those into these two folders, you should find what you're looking for. Number one, an architectural template as the default. Number two, an 11 by 17 title block um, once you go back into your Revit and start that project. So this little short video shows you how to get those files, put them in your folder, and then the next video I'll do will be the assignment that we just did in lab.